wait, wait. Everyone has run into bullying behavior at times, either on the receiving or the giving end. The key here is that bullying is a behavior. It's not who the person is. Our behaviors are based on how we're feeling. If we're feeling bad, sad, or have needs that are unmet, such as love and connection, a sense of control, or even more basic than that, it can be apparent in how we act and treat one another. How we treat one another is a reflection of ourselves and how we feel about ourselves, not the recipient of the words or our actions. This is one of the most important concepts here. How we treat others reflects on us, not the other person. Being a witness to bullying or a bystander and not doing anything comes from fear. Someone who's courageous would not allow that behavior to continue and would speak up or tell a trusted adult. So here's the thing. Our feelings are dependent upon our thoughts. We have to periodically ask ourselves, what is the narrative or story that's going on in our head? If we're focused on negative things in our life or we're unable to manage adversity or trauma we're experiencing, we might try to take out our anger and sorrow on someone else to find relief. Bullying can be a symptom of hopelessness. We know that hurt people hurt people. Those that perpetrate bullying behavior often struggle socially. They lack empathy for others, compassion and relationship skills. They might feel angry, frustrated, or jealous. They might be victims of bullying themselves. People that feel good about themselves and their life do not bully others. If we understand this, we can look at bullying behavior in a different way. We can see bullies as people that are hurting in some way, and rather than fight back or react defensively, we can ask what happened and how we can help. So, we have to think about bullying behavior as being equal to someone in pain. It's important also to realize that bullying behavior can be learned. And so someone who's treating others unkindly might be on the receiving end of the same treatment. Bullying behavior is a result of lack of social and emotional skills, as well as impulse control. Using our choice moment, we can pause, get curious about what could be the cause of someone acting in that way and act appropriately from that understanding by making a heroic choice and thoughtfully responding with love. Ultimately, we always treat others how we wanna be treated, regardless of what they do. That's the golden rule. We don't have control over them, but we do have control over ourselves. Remember, it's always a choice. That's our superpower as human beings. We choose how we treat one another every single time. And we can choose to be kind regardless of what's going on in our lives at the moment. It is a choice. Choose love.